the stakes are high in the upcoming Eden Monaro by-election. It's a notoriously unpredictable seat, currently held by Labor, with a margin of less than 1%. We know that oppositions haven't lost a held seat to government for 100 years. We know Ian Monaro is typically a bellwether seat, a marginal seat. If Labor wins, the praise for Scott Morrison's crisis management might not be translating in marginal, bushfire-affected seats. I'm only shaking your hand if you give more funding to our RFS. Oh, no, really want to <laughs> if the Liberals win, it could reignite doubts about Albanese's leadership. 14 candidates are contesting the seat. That's after Labor MP Mike Kelly retired because of health issues. A lot of uh, a tough times. Bega Valley Shire Mayor Christy McBain is running as a Labor candidate. In this region, I love this region, and I'll do whatever I can to put the, the people of this region first. Fiona Cotvoice, the Liberal nominee, has been under fire from critics over her views on climate change. Having defended her home in Cobargo from fires, she maintains fuel load is the only issue in the worsening blazes. And things like bushfires. I mean, I know where I lived, the difference in areas where we had the fuel had been managed, the fire came through with far less intensity, it was much easier to manage. Matthew Stadmiller, the Shooters, Fishers and Farmers Party candidate, believes people should vote away from the coalition. The main aim being to defeat their arch enemies, the Nationals uh, could decide the seat if their preferences, as I expect, go Labor's uh, Christy McBain's way. Eden Monaro will be the first federal vote held during the COVID-19 pandemic.